Hello, welcome to your video on the distributive property, specifically working with fractions. And your I can statement is I can apply the distributive property to simplify expressions. So let's get started. On your notes page, the question, how do I simplify using the distributive property, goes on the left-hand side of your notes. And then we're going to work through these three different problems on the right-hand side of your notes. So we'll start with four-thirds being multiplied by 3x minus 4. And what you'll want to do is still feed the birds. Um, don't freak out because of the fractions. So you're going to feed that bird. And when you do, you're going to have to just kind of step off to the side and do 4 thirds times 3x over 1. And then you'll want to see if you can simplify before you multiply. And you can divide by 3. So you're left with 1x and 1. So 4 times 1x is just 4x, and then 1 times 1 is 1, which you can simplify that to just plain old 4x. Um, so you'll want to write then your answer, if I can erase this, off to um, right underneath there. So my answer was 4x, and then you'll want to feed the next bird, so 4 thirds. And then don't forget that this is a negative 4 there. So it's going a step off to the side again, and you'll want to do 4 thirds times negative 4 over 1. Simplify before you multiply, which we can't do. So we're going to take 4 times negative 4, which is negative 16, and then 3 times 1, which is 3. You can't simplify that any further, so that is your answer. So minus 16 thirds, and there, ladies and gentlemen, is the final answer for that problem. 4x minus 16 thirds. Second example, negative 1 half and then times the quantity of 2 plus 8y. Feeding the birds, negative 1 half times 2. So again, you'll, you do need to step off to the side of the problem. Um, and then you'll just drop down your answers. So times 2 over 1, simplify before you multiply. So you are just left with negative 1 over 1, which is negative 1. So that's my answer for that first spot. And then I need to feed the birds again. Negative 1 half times 8y over 1. Simplify before you multiply. I can divide by 2. So I have negative 1 times 4y, which is negative 4y over 1 which is very simply negative 4y. So my final answer is negative 1 minus 4y, except you do want to write um, this in ABC order. So you'll want to take that negative 4y and put that in front because variables come first. So negative 4y, then the minus 1, and here then is your final official answer. Third problem negative 1 fourth and then times 4x minus 8y. Again, we're just going to feed the birds. So the first one, step off to the side, negative 1 fourth times 4x over 1. Simplify before you multiply, divisible by 4. So we have negative 1 times 1x, which is negative 1x, or just negative x, over 1. And we can simplify that to just plain old negative x or negative 1x. Um, so negative x. And then we need to feed our second bird. Negative 1 fourth times, don't forget that negative, negative 8y over 1. Simplify, I can divide by 4. So I'm left with a 1 and a negative 2y. And negative times a negative is a positive 2y over 1, so plus 2y. And then you want to check ABC order, the x comes first, so my answer is negative x plus 2y. Your turn. So go ahead and copy this problem down, pause the video, work through it, and then turn the video on when you are ready to check your answer. All right, I started the work here um, for both 
sets of multiplication. So you can simplify before you multiply. And this will give you a negative times a negative, which is a positive 1t over 1, which is just plain old t. And then we have negative 1 fifth times negative 2. Simplify before you multiply, which there really isn't anything you can do there. A negative times a negative is a positive 2 fifths. So plus 2 fifths. And that is in ABC order. So t, t plus 2 fifths is your final answer. And just know that you could have put a 1 in front of the T also. Now we're going to get harder problems. So how do I simplify using the distributive property? Still dealing with fractions, um, but these are much more complex problems. So it's really important um, to show your work on these ones because they are quite challenging. And neatness is helpful too. So 1 over 2x and then you're multiplying distributing 2 plus 4x. So you still have to feed the birds and there is still a, quite a bit of work to do here. So we have 1 over 2x times 2 over 1. Simplify before you multiply. So you can divide out 2 and you would just get an 1x and then a 1. So you have 1 over x. And it's important that the x stays in the denominator on that one. So I'm going to transfer that answer over. 1 over x. And then I'm going to feed the next bird. So 1 over 2x. And now I'm multiplying by 4x over 1. Simplify before you multiply. I can divide out 2. So this is going to be an x and a 2x. And that would be 2x over x. And then hopefully you know you can 1 out when it's the same on the top and the bottom. Um, or they cancel out is another way to think about it. So then I am just left with a 2 in the numerator. So 2 over 1, which simplifies to plain old 2. So positive 2. And that is in the correct ABC order. So that is my final answer. As weird as it looks, that's the final answer. All right, next problem. Same method. We're going to feed the birds. And I'm going to make this a little smaller so I have more room. Okay. So negative 1 over 4x times negative 2. And this is x squared. So this um, we'll have to expand out here in a second. Over 1. We can divide out... 2 on this, so I have a 2x left, and then I have a negative 1x squared. Negative times a negative is a positive, so I have 1x squared, which is xx. So I'm going to expand out now over a 2x times 1, which is just 2x. And then I can 1 out a set of those x's, one on the numerator, one on the denominator. And you could have noticed that at the beginning of the problem um, and expanded right away and then simplified out um, one of the x's. That would be another way to look at it. Um, so I'm left with an x on the numerator and a 2 in the denominator. So x over 2. And then, sorry, I'm just trying to give myself a little bit more room here. Then I have to feed the birds again. So I have negative 1 over 4x times 4. 5 over 1. No simplifying can happen here, so I just multiply. Negative 5 over 4x. As weird as that looks, that is my answer. So final answer, x over 2 minus 5 over 4x. I know it's crazy looking, but it is what it is. Last example problem for you. Now here we have an x in the numerator, so that makes this one a little bit different. Multiply, so I have negative x over 6 times 2 over 1. Simplify before you multiply, you can divide by 2. So I have negative x or negative 1x over 3. And I drop that down over here, and then I feed the birds again. Negative x over 6 times 8x over 1. Simplify before you multiply. I can divide out 2, so I have a 3 and then a 4x. 
a negative x times 4x. So it's negative 1 times 4, which is negative 4. And then I have x times x over 3. And I can, um, ex I know that x times x is x squared. So I can write that a little bit better so I look smarter. Over 3. So that's the answer I'm going to bring over here, minus 4x squared over 3. And then you do want the highest powers to come first as well, um, not just the ABC order. So I'm going to move that negative 4x squared over 3 to come first, and then that negative x over 3 gets moved in last. And that is my final answer. That is the end of your video. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.